Hello and welcome everyone to our talk today. My name is Thomas. With me on stage today is Roland. He's one of my colleagues and we are working for the Mercedes-Benz Group AG uh, in Stuttgart, Germany. And we are providing a Cloud Foundry platform um, to our internal developer teams. And today we want to give you a presentation about how we are dealing in this complete platform engineering topic and how we are proving with these methods and all of these activities, um, developer productivity for our development teams. All of the last years, we also uh, went into this um, platform engineering topic and um, we also heard lots of things about this topic and um, got to know to this topic and then brought it real to our product and how we are presenting this product or maybe um, giving this product in, in our Mercedes-Benz company um, the, the spotlight and, and our journey we want to uh, present you today. Um, what you see here next is our IT organization collaboration model. So how we are on the right side as platform team, how we are um, in the collaboration with our business divisions, their IT departments and their roles, what they have on their side in the application team. This, this consists normally of an application owner, of DevOps teams, architects and all of these guys. Um, our our department or our cloud plan, cloud strategy is called DHC, Dynamic Hybrid Cloud, and we are serving here different kind of platform types. Uh, we are cons we are on the platform team from the PaaS, so this means like a platform as a service um, cloud platform, and this is what we are serving to all the business divisions in our departments. Within our company, we have an open strategy about where the developer teams can really choose which cloud of platforms they want to use. So there is no really top-down approach about coming from the uh, less flexibility side, going on the most flexibility side and the standardizing stuff. So everything is really um, yeah, in an open strategy and everyone can choose what every application team wants. So therefore we have to do like this um, bottom up approach. So this meaning we are doing a grassroots marketing with our platform. And this means that we really have to uh, kind of uh, have these bush fires in several kind of departments that one on the other application team knows our platform, are quite benefit with it, getting lots of positive experiences and then uh, extending more and more applications um, to our platform. We started several years ago in 2015 with a dedicated uh, platform for one project. It's called Mercedes Me, this application. It's, um, it's an uh, application for your mobile phone um, where you can track your car, get telemetric data out of it, can open the trunk and open the doors and all of this stuff. Um, they, at this point in time, they wanted to do a cloud native transformation from their current IBM WebSphere um, architecture and then came to us as a IT infrastructure department and saying, okay, we want to do this with this um, Cloud Foundry approach. After several years of going in there and, and providing this on a worldwide uh, region, also in our, in our regional data centers, uh, we then came to the idea in 2018 of extending this platform, not only for one project, so for the complete company. And therefore, we did like an, an, own, an own startup style so that we uh, pitched this idea to our management. And then on the next years, we had then the productive uh, platform ready because in the first POC phase, it was so successful. All the developers loved our platform and saw the, the benefits out of it. Further, we then extended also the platform growth, so much, much more usage on, on the platform. And then currently we have around about 200 application projects on our platform. We have a high integration in the complete developer um, community. So lots of developers are using it. We extended the platform now all over the years with different kind of services, with more features and everything where the developer wants more points to be adapted. Then we really, uh, we really, um, yeah, got their feedback and Im implemented it on their side. In the first product phase, so we're really focused on of starting with the product, we got to know um, this platform as a product approach. Um, we went to some conferences directly on this Cloud Foundry uh, topics, and there was one, the Cloud Foundry Summit in Basel, 
um, in October 2018, where we come across um, in the first time with this approach. There was um, there was the presenter Paula Kennedy who talked about this topic and how Pivotal is doing in these steps, how Pivotal is consulting you on these steps, how to really go with this approach. And then uh, she did a very good talk there and uh, was then in our heads and then we brought it back to our company and uh, and really introduced these steps and all these um, all these topics um, where we are currently now and uh, really helped us um, yeah to do this this approach and to come to a successful level how we are currently uh, am. One of the most uh, most important things is here is to really developer focus so that you really have an active partnership with your developers, that you know who are your high performers, that you really have an active developer community where you get the feedback on and where to know where you have to improve the platform and uh, know in which direction your product should should be doing and running. Further for us, it was also uh, very beneficial to get those conference talks, not maybe now in the first phase with this platform as a product approach, much more on um, interacting with other companies, with other platform teams, how they are dealing with their platform growth or maybe their platform build up in their, um, in their companies and how they are maybe engaging in a better way with their developers, how we are doing it uh, maybe at the current standpoint on our side. So there is a lot of knowledge sharing right now, again, with some other um, um, yeah, developer teams or platform teams from other companies. And uh, we are doing there also lots of user communities. So therefore, um, it's quite good. We are currently constantly improving um, every time and, and really question ourselves, where can we improve? And then really um, make a transparent decision making so that everybody really knows why we are doing it. And uh, this is also very positive. With all of these things um, and this collaboration and these conference talks, we really formed our mission very, very at the beginning, because when you have a mission, it's always good. You can announce and where you can rely on. And um, our mission was that we are building the platform, not for us. We are building it for the Mercedes-Benz developers because they are the application team. They are the developers. They are which are the most people are using the platforms. And therefore, it's, it's always good um, to build a platform towards them or their uh, demands and what they really need. Currently, on a here more on a technical perspective, this is our product, so it's called DHC PASP, and this is our technical framework. In the middle, you see this Cloud Foundry uh, VMware Tensor Application Service Platform with all the build packs, all the possible application uh, runtimes we are having. Um, on the right side, you see all the platform services we have integrated, and this is then really in the step into what. What was the demand of the developers? Which databases they want? Which middleware services? Which logging monitoring solutions they want? And this is where we really build in such services that they are, um, yeah, that they have the best developer journey on their product development stuff. Further, maybe more technically, we also have a um, on-prem solution at in the first place. And now, uh, some some month ago, we all moved now also to the AWS infrastructure. So this means our platform is now um, in, a, in, a, in a hybrid cloud scenario that we are also using public cloud infrastructure for our platform. Further, we have several kind of ecosystem integration within our company where applications can connect to, are integrated with um, OpenID connect and all this stuff, and uh, you can deploy your application uh, from different kind of tool chains. Uh, one thing also good for your developer community that we have all the documentation in GitHub and with GitHub pages, where also developers can provide their documentation or maybe enhance our documentation because we are the platform team. We cannot integrate everything and document everything in this detail. So therefore, this was very helpful, helpful for us. Okay, now I will hand over to Roland to give you more insights on um, our day-to-day -day, uh, processes. Yeah, thank you, Thomas, for uh, the introduction. Um, I'm Roland. I'm one of the platform architects of our Cloud Foundry platform here at Mercedes. And I want to walk you through uh, some of our daily activities, uh, what we take care of and uh, what are some methods uh, we are using in our 
daily business um, and uh, some recommendations what you can do for your development community. So um, what are we doing on a daily basis? We have multiple platforms running. Um, we have platforms uh, in our own Mercedes data center on-premise and uh, also on AWS. Um, we have integration and production platforms on either environment. And uh, to give you some uh, numbers, um, we have uh, around 300 application projects, um, 3,000 application instances, and uh, around 1,500 platform services. Um, which we are providing uh, at the moment and uh, constantly growing. So what do we need to um, make all this happen? Um, we need a great platform team and, of course, a ton of automation. Um, so we are around eight people. Uh, that's not too much to operate all these applications and service instances. Um, we have a great mix of people. So we have um, developers in our team. We have security specialists in our team. Um, also uh, DevOps engineers. And of course, um, a lot of automation. So one big recommendation uh, I can make is that you get rid of all the daily recurring tasks um, patching, updating, uh, change tasks, uh, stuff like that, internal accounting, and all these manual activities, which uh, cost a lot of time and uh, have no um, great benefits for your developers. So um, automate as much as you can, that you have more time to spend with your developer uh, developer community um, to give them um, to offer them help. So on this slide, I have some success factors, um, some simple methods and uh, tools we are using as a platform team. First one um, is daily meetings. So um, a while back ago, we uh, skipped a lot of our meetings and get rid of meetings because we thought we need more time to do real work. This idea backfired um, quickly. So we returned to a regular meeting schedule because otherwise some tasks were picked up by different people at the same time or other tasks weren't picked up at all. So a regular exchange within the team is highly important. The second one is the task planning. So we plan our tasks with the whole team that um, the tasks are picked up in time because if everybody can pick from the backlog uh, whatever uh, he or she wants, whenever he or she wants. Um, this leads to the fact that some tasks were not picked up in time because they are complicated or annoying. So get together, distribute the tasks evenly in the team, and uh, this will help a lot. The next thing is a high deployment frequency. So there are... Uh, a lot of reasons why you should de why you should deploy often and regularly. Uh, I just want to highlight um, one major thing uh, that is the more updates and deployments you do, the more experience you gain, the more confidence you gain, and it gets easier each and every time. The last point here are regular retrospectives. There are a ton of great examples in the internet for templates of retrospectives. We are using one which is called the sailboat retro um, because we noticed that in the daily business, sometimes we don't have enough time to talk about team things. So things which are blocking us, things we should talk about with our management and uh, also things to celebrate. So therefore, sometimes we get... Um, get a half day or a full day um, blocked in our calendars and uh, do this retrospectives. Last but not least, I want to show you some things we are doing for our developer community. Um, there are a ton of activities around our developer community, which we are doing. I've picked a few examples on this slide here to give you a brief overview. Um, and I want to highlight just a few things so, for example, from our training section, we um, created a three-day Mercedes-specific um, developer training 
because we noticed that the general trainings which are available on the internet are always too generic for the enterprise specific requirements we need in our company because you need to know how to deal with the internal firewall processes with the internal white listings and all the stuff and we have designed um, a specific training for this which is held on our own platforms so the developers can train um, on our Mercedes platform and gain their experience, ask um, ask questions, and learn the stuff which they need uh, internally. And another topic is our support via MetaMost. So we um, try to do all our application support via um, MetaMost. It is a chat tool like Slack, but just on-premise. And uh, we try to avoid um, tasks via the ticket system or via change processes. So the main focus is to have all our support processes in our chat tool. And uh, another one is to make the onboarding as easy as possible. We use uh, ServiceNow for onboarding all the projects. And um, we have uh, an automated deployment process for the developers to provision their environment. So from the first entry point on ServiceNow till they can deploy their application on our Cloud Foundry platform, it takes about five minutes and the developers are good to go and can start coding right away. Yeah, that's all from our side. Thanks a lot for um, joining our talk and have a night, uh, have a great day. Bye.